Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Investing. I'm Albert and today's video is going to be one of my longer videos based on the banking sector stocks. So we're going to go over the first one. Uh, first things first, uh, it might be a little noisy where I'm at. Uh, I'm with my child and um, there's a few other kids here. They're running back and forth so uh, I apologize in advance if things get a little bit noisy. So let's just move on to the first stock. First stock that I have is ticker symbol C-A-R-V. So ticker symbol C-A-R-V, the price is at 1.58. Uh, what I forgot to mention too was the date. Today's date is March 17th, 2024. It is Sunday. So uh, moving on from that, markets are closed. And we can see here, 52-week high, 52-week low. We have a high of 5.36, a low of 1.15. So that's not even a $10 range. So with that said, that range is horrible. Market cap is only at 7 million, well, close to eight. But then again, it's, it's very, very small, like a micro cap. We have volume at 33,000. So definitely not an active stock. Dividend yields, they're not even paying dividends. Obviously, it's very micro cap company. Earnings are not even profitable at 0.99. So uh, it's horrible too. PE is not even showing anything. Uh, price book is at 0.18. I mean, these are just very, very small numbers. Not much to work with, no room to grow either. Uh, let's look at the charts. Five-year chart, you can see that the highest was at uh, I don't know 26 bucks. That was in 2021, and then you can see here the downtrend after 2021. It's just nothing came about. It hasn't gone up since. Last three months were let me see a high of uh, 2.27, and then now a low of 1.5. You can see here that uh, it's almost reaching new lows. So let's look at the last five days. Uh, again, not not much room. We're, this is definitely like a penny stock, going up and down five cents. You know, it's not even worth it. So moving on to the next factor, we have here. Uh, let's look at the analysis for the quants. Quant ratings, uh, growth, nothing, income, nothing, momentum, nothing, quality, nothing, value. This, this stock is really just pretty much awful. So uh, overall rating for this stock, they gave it a 1 out of a 5, which I agree with. Uh, again, it's not much to look at at this stock. Um, can't do anything with it. Can't even trade it, nothing. So... Uh, yeah, uh, let's look at annual numbers. Hopefully, that gives me that. 2023, uh, they lost half a percent in 2023. ROE, 8.77. Negative, you saw. So, negative earnings, margins, uh, negative 16%. Well, 16.68, almost 17. That is at 93. Um, yeah, all very bad numbers. So, you know year to year i mean look at these numbers negative numbers negative income uh it's gotten lower the net income and i mean they're striving for profitability but that can only go on for so long and again you saw the chart it's horrible revenue it's not much i mean not much of a difference so you have a high of close to 20, high of, uh, actually high of 27, close to 28. So not much, I mean, not much to even go off of really. Negative cash flow, as you can see, uh, and that's it. Um, horrible stock, if you have it, get rid of it. Uh, no need to even look at it. So yeah, jumping into the next one. Ticker symbol FHN, First Horizon Corporation. So, 
we have here market cap at eight billion dollar market cap company so that's pretty decent volume is pretty high so this is an active stock it's at least a ten dollar range so that's not bad we have here positive earnings uh dividend is at 0 0.6 dividend yield is at 4.09 uh, pe is at 9.5 so uh pretty underrated we have here the chart five years you can see the last five years a uh, high of twenty three dollars and forty three cents then a low right here in 2023 in june of about 10 bucks and again it's trying to break its 2020 highs of about 14.5 so it has because the price right now is at 14.7 so the one year trend again is trying to i don't think it's going to break the last years given the banking sector is pretty weak but again this is an active stock so who knows what might happen three month uh chart here the low of the three month was 13 bucks i mean there's not much room to go up and down last five days has been pretty flat then we have here let's see let's look at max so yeah that was it 2007 2005 all those mid 2000s were stock prices in the 30s and then after that we never even got back to that so the high for the next decade again in the 2020s was uh 2023 sorry 2023 almost last year and again 23 bucks and hasn't broke out since so given the banking sector um this is a pretty tricky stock but again we're gonna go over fundamentals and then see what's what when it comes to the quants 16 analysts have rated this so we have here uh majority of people said hold and then some said buy some said a strong buy they're gonna state everything's a buy it's not even worth it Leave it alone, 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 leave it alone. Be quiet and leave it alone. Go play over there. You're going to get hurt. Quant ratings are at, uh, growth is at 4.19, 5.43, 5.83 is momentum. We have value 6.21. Quality is at 2.43. Uh, again, uh, overall rating is 2 out of 5. Income, I mean, it's pretty awful compared to the earnings. Then again, we have the momentum at 5.83. I think the momentum is a little bit higher than that. Value is hard to see. I can't really tell. So, again, I don't entirely agree with the quant ratings. It's just that whatever we have, we just want to decide what we agree with and what we do not agree with. So, moving on to the... Again, I'm bit by mosquitoes here, sorry. I'm like being outside. I prefer being at home, but whatever. So, actual estimates and in, in the earnings here for 2023, you can see they lost, 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 and then they beat. So, most of that was a loss. So, ROA, pretty much 1% all across the board the last five years. Not much of a change. ROE, almost about the same. Earnings, pretty much, they look about the same or on average. Net margins about the same at 25%. Debt, less than most banking companies, but again, still pretty high. Uh, it's at 88.6%. Net income we have at 916 million. Revenue, 3.47. So, again, not bad numbers compared to the peers, but again, it's just 
As you know, the banking sector is pretty awful. Uh, I hope this bank does okay for a small cap because um, it's just not that big. But and they got decent numbers. They just need to work on um, getting revenue, pretty much. Unstable revenue is what I see. Operating income for the cash flow. Sorry, operating cash flow is at 1.3. So 2.6 in investing. So that leaves 1.3. So they do have positive cash flow, which is good. Uh, they can pay dividends. Again, they have not given dividend raises ever since 2020. You can see here at 15 cents. So that's pretty much it for this stock. So would I add this stock to a watch list? Uh, no, it needs work. It needs a little bit more work. Um, it's not bad, but again, I hope this company can uh, withstand the downgrades and the downtrends and everything that's going to come with it. Again, so active stock, it just needs some work. Next stock up that I have, and the last one is sticker symbol FXNC. It is at $17.60. Volume is very, very low at $3,000. Market cap is $110 million. Uh, what happened? Go play. I'm making a video. Yellow slide. Okay, yellow slide. All right. Go ahead. I'll be right there, okay? So the max, again, in the early 2000s. Yeah, go ahead. Early 2000s were in the 40s, and you see here in the high 20s, even in the low 40s. Later, wait. You see the downtrend ever since 2007. Try to curl back up in 2017 and pretty much the flat. You see these little waves here. Last five years, um, very volatile stock, even for this micro cap company. So we have here the one year. And again, it's been uptrending because obviously in 2023, October, it's been doing that. So, uh, it needs work. I know you see the downtrend, but again, um, it just needs work. It has no volume. Uh, revenue is, I bet it's pretty low if the market cap is 110. So, we're going to look at the analysis real quick. Rating was hold, 100% hold, based on one analyst. So, uh, a lot of analysts are not looking at these very small cap companies and also these micro cap companies. Looking at the earnings here. Sorry, let's look at the uh, quants. So with these quants, we have uh, 2.48. Highest moment, highest is the momentum, which is the rating 8.24. Overall rating is 2 out of 5. So I think I can agree that um, the overall rating is 2 out of 5. Five. Well, uh, maybe less. Maybe less than that. Maybe one out of five. So we're going to look at some fundamentals. So right here, we're going to see some annual numbers. Hopefully, they come up. So we can see here actual estimates and earnings estimates here. So they beat. They met expectations. They met. And then it looks like they missed hugely in Q4 for 2023. Now... Looking at V, hold on one second, I got my pen. Ugh, sorry about that. So, ROA was at, ROA was at, uh, let me look at my annuals. Not even 1%, that's a big drop uh, from the 1%. I mean, these are tiny numbers, so again, these drops are gonna be huge. ROE, Lost 42% right there compared to last year. Uh, earnings per share dropped pretty much by one. That's a lot. Uh, 2023, they're not looking so good. Net margins from 28% all the way to 17%. Debt to assets. That's assets. We have 91%. Still pretty high. Pretty average for a bank stock. Uh, net income is at 
that's just close to around 2020 levels. Then we have the revenue of 55 million. So slight drop from 2022. And then we have uh, the balance sheet here. Again, 91% in debt. So at, comparing assets to liabilities. Then we have cash flow here. We have 26.7 million. Negative cash flow, definitely. So we have 135. So we're talking about 111 million in negative cash flow. Very horrible. I don't know how they can afford to do the dividend if uh, they have that much in negative cash flow. Actually, these are 2022 numbers, so I apologize for that. So again, uh, if they have negative across the board the last the last five years, I would assume the numbers more or less correlate to what they have for 2023. Again, I just don't understand how they're able to pay the dividends. So... With that said, would I add this to watch this? No, I would not. So there you have it. Um, only one stock is okay and needs work. And then the other three are just pretty much horrible. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.